Thank you, Anu, for the introductions. Uh, we have an extraordinary panel here, so we'll kick this off with uh, a question, a broad question to each of them. They'll have a few minutes to give us an overview of their experience and expertise that lies at the intersection of Acres mission. And then that really gives us a chance, you know, once they've done that, then the audience will have an over a framework to ask questions, and then it's basically the audience interaction with them. That's, that's what it's going to be. So I'll kick this off with a question for uh, Beverly Brown here. And the broad question is, what innovations in healthcare education would be applicable and useful in the context of local schools and the larger local communities? Well, first I'd like to say thank you very much for inviting me to be involved here um, in, in this forum. It's of immense value in the sense that education is development and education is the best investment that we can all make in improving the world's health. Uh, a piece of that um, is that as you improve the, the education of women, this impacts the health of the women themselves in many ways. It impacts the next generation's health and the family health. But to answer specifically the question around uh, in, innovations, um, one has to think about what's possible in the context of, for example, where the ECHO schools are. Um, and that is important to structure, as ECHO does, as to structure the actual educational process that is student-centric, that can be sustainable, and that actually is context appropriate. And in order to do that, you really have to engage the teachers. And I do want to put out there the concept that I think more collaboration with academic institutions in this country can actually bring to bear some elements that will help the local teachers actually do their work. Uh, for, an, for an example, uh, a program that we have is called Teach the Teacher to Teach, called, it's called 5Ts, T5. And this, this is actually a program that's collaboratively generated to create public health education. This is a program that we've launched in India and we're expanding it in other countries in Africa as well as Bhutan to actually bring the type of education um, that is needed in that area but bring it in a context appropriate way. It is team based, it is problem solving, and it actually uh, takes advantage of what is called um, in, in education the flipped classroom concept. That is materials that are didactic are delivered separately, offline, not in the classroom. The classroom is not somebody standing up and lecturing. The classroom is where you put the problems together with the students and you work in teams to solve the problems. Of course, digital technology. Digital technology is very important. One can imagine an application, um, a situation where really there's three different levels that, are, that can bring um, innovation and can bring education to the ACL schools. One of which is developing applications that can be delivered on, on mobile phones. This gives you, you can do, deliver specific topics and, and actually in, involve testing in one, in one package. Applications, we have classes at, at MIT, at BU, and all the other areas, uh, universities that are actually generating these kinds of applications. Um, students doing it, that, that can be easily downloaded on the variety of mobile phones that are currently out there. Another aspect is internet access. This, this allows for groups to come together for enrichment. So if you have access to solar power, perhaps a central solar uh, shed, if you will, groups coming together can access materials together through the internet. And finally, which we used a lot of this evening, videos. Videos of various types. Videos can bring a wide range of educational um, uh, topics into the setting and it's asynchronous, it's done offline and of course if you have the broadband uh, capability, Skyping with other academic institutions around the world is another dimension but oftentimes these villages probably don't have that capability. Those are just a few of my thoughts. Thank you.